Welcome back to HBO Girls, Girls Rewatch. Rewatch. I'm Amelia. And I'm Evan. And today we have a guest who really values Omega 3s. Um, they're amazing on TikTok and Twitter. Check them out. Please welcome. <laughs> oh, we're demonetized already. <laughs> Jesus. We're stunned second. Welcome to our couch, Victor Carlesi. <laughs> Oh my god, we're so Hi. happy to have you. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to do this. I love watching TV and film. Oh, of course. And it's then talking about almost it. almost the only thing we have. <laughs> yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Well, this was a sign because we were like, we would love to have you on a pod. And you're like, I'm coming to New York in three days. Literally. We're like, okay, well, this is a perfect doc call. It's actually yes. great. We're addicted to checking our own TikTok notifications. <laughs> and your message, because I think we accidentally waved at you once. Oh, it's yeah. It's so easy to accidentally That was no wave. accident. Yeah. No, no. We Whenever you waved at me, I was like... <laughs> I was like, okay, it's not often you get away. <laughs> and no <Aww>. follow up. <laughs> and so I was like, like, I'm kind of you wait, so. and I was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you're like the first line you see every day for months and months and months, and no, we're like, I accidentally waved to every single person I've ever befriended on TikTok. I accidentally waved. It. It's so easy because the button's so big; it's half the screen. There was a time where TikTok would like remind you how to like say hi to someone like once you like followed each other <laughs> yeah <babe. laughs> once you like okay, follow sweet. each other it would be like hey why don't you give him a wave why don't you say hi and i would just always give in like, so, so i said hi like every person that i'm like <laughs> no what you did this is the nudge on tiktok when you're like nudge your friends that's that it's so powerful it's the power of hello tiktok's bringing back like it's just say hi. Just say hi. And it's like, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> you like, can do like, that. It's not so hard. But you don't have to pretend. Oh, I forgot about community. I forgot the social aspect of social media. I forgot about intros. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about True. introducing myself. Huh. It's almost like we don't do them anymore. Because you don't have to. Because here I am already. You have access to who I am. Yeah. I'm like, I already know everything I need to know. I'm not going to say hello. And here's the kicker. Right. That's not me. <gasps> That's my online presence. And it. Uh, <laughs> cut see you cut. next week <laughs> blow that ipad up well this honestly this really reminds me of something because there's this couple and it's talking okay very wait couple i was talking to i well, remind you of a couple because yeah, i have a split <laughs> identity that's awesome <laughs> but they're like we met on tiktok and i thought it's because they're both tiktok famous they're just not no they're not but tiktok because of the feature we're talking about during covid they met because of this. Is it like, the they couple both have we 50K. Is it the couple that is breaking up because of the telescope? <laughs> no. Okay. They have. They both have like 2K on TikTok. Okay. But they're able yeah. to become, they're like, they befriend each other through TikTok, having like posted like probably one video, one person liked one time. Whoa. And then they hit a nudge feature when they both followed each other. They did it. They probably did a three waves at someone. Yeah. They pressed the button and then they kind of started dating. And now the girl's like four, five, one, and the guy's six, seven. So it's like kind of a perfect relationship for them. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, yeah. That is really they, they sacred they are. to be so <laughs> short and so tall. Oh, of course. And they're the perfect couple. Yeah, right. Wait, you said they both have 2K on TikTok? I actually think that's a lot. Yeah, right. It is. It's so hard to grow on that damn app. I know. Well, now it is. It's, it was so easy in the beginning. And now I'm like literally like losing <laughs> followers. I'm like, who's unfollowing? I'm like, I just like follow people and then just like. No, of it. course. Yeah. And I go, people are actively unfollowing me. That's crazy. Don't tell us about this. <laughs> it, it, we started our TikTok account four months ago. One of the hardest times to start a TikTok it's account. Like, it's crazy. We're, we're posting 20 TikToks a week. They're all doing okay. And yeah, we're no losing two followers. Anymore. Yeah. Everybody's like, I don't want to hear about girls anymore. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Neither do we. <laughs> you think we like this? <laughs> do you think we like the choices that led us here? No. Well, it's like every week I get mad about this podcast. I'm like, I thought about girls again. But then I watch the show. I'm like, wait, this is the best show yeah, ever. It, like, it brings so me beautiful. back in. It brings me back in. In a yeah. way where I'm like, I'm so angry. I can't believe yeah. I have to go talk about girls again. But I'm like, and then I watch it. I'm like, oh, it's my favorite show on earth. Yeah. Wait, God. what is your relationship to yeah, the television please. program Girl? Okay, so I knew you were gonna ask me this. <laughs> I was thinking about it and I was like, so I was living in New York in 2016, 2016 to 2017. And Oh, season six. Yeah. And so I like I like missed girls basically. Like right. I think I'm like at a weird age. I'm 29, by the way. <laughs> I'm at like a weird age where like I identify as like way younger than myself, like right. way younger than my age. And so I was just like those people on that show, like 
have nothing to do with me. Like, I can't relate to them. Like, I'm not at that station in life. And you were technically the age of them? The, like, well. Or no, you were 23. They were 25 in a way. You're describing queer adolescence, of course. Yeah, (laughs) right, right. And I was just like, I don't get it. I was like, I just, like, don't get it. And then, like. I like started like rewatching it during the pandemic and I was like, okay, this is like the funniest shit I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I'm also like able to laugh at the characterization like of millennial in that moment because like all my friends were like three to four years older than me. So like they were truly. Oh, exactly. They were those. true millennial yeah. girls. If this show is written today, I was thinking about this. It'd be the, it would be undisputedly the best show ever because it was like, it had the satirical lens of like, what is 20 20- 12 all about yeah and someone was able to like reference that it was so now, accurate would be you you would be gob smacked you'd be cuckoo cocoa. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be amazing yeah well, you'd be gob smacked literally on this episode i like laughed yes. so hard about like the commentary like it's i know so, it's like, so cogent. good like literally me saying cogent literally <laughs> the um, your eyes just <laughs> yeah. fired up my what eyes filled mean? up with pink celsius when I said that. um <laughs> literally uh there's like this commentary where oh, fuck what's the one guy's name frank says to like marnie like you're not gonna be able to dress up like a magician's assistant oh, right. for the rest of your life oh yeah 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 i laughed so hard i was like that was literally 2013 no exactly Magician's assistant, Taylor Magician's Swift. Assistant. Red, Nobody like. talks about magician's assistants anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think more than anything, that's never it's because there's an erasure of women in our culture. Yeah, there really is. Yeah. And huh. magicians are dying. You know, I actually went to a concert the other day in some random person's garage, and it was three bands and a magician. What? I didn't say for a magician, of course, but that was the, the magician premise. went last. Yeah, I'm like, you're closing this at 12 a.m. with a magician after these like 19 year old NYU students who have an emerging band come up. <laughs> like, no one's gonna care about a magician. <laughs> no, put them in the smack dab in the center. Open a damn thing with a magician. Show but a little magic and I then show like some other magic. Magicians yeah. are really sensitive in my head because when I went on a cruise when I was 13, there was a magician on There's board. There's trauma there. Yeah, and he like came to the teen club because one of the activities at the teen club was like, the magician's going to come teach you a magic trick. And some like 14-year-old boy was like, this is dumb. And the magician lost their mind, <laughs> threw a deck of cards, and was like, I'm better than this, and left. Huh. Holy. And In some ways, we're all magicians. Yeah, and then like, the rest yeah. of the trip, like, whenever the teens were hanging out and he walked by, we would be like, <laughs> and he would, like, speed up his walk. Oh, he was scared of you guys. He was so mad at us. Wait, a cruise, you said? Yeah, an Alaskan the, cruise. The la- okay, wait. Amelia, Alaskan. once a week, and I live off of you girls, she brings up this cruise. It was one week long, of course, um, and she met um, a really rich uh, family from Mexico, and they, they really, like, raised her in one week more than her actual parents, it sounds like. When she <laughs> talked about these, these 17-year-olds when she was 12. This so cruise changed her. my life. I yeah. can't stop thinking about it. About it I didn't want to go to Alaska because my mom originally said I wouldn't have to, and then she made me go, and I was like, well, I'm going to be a bitch the whole time then. And then after a week a of like on-land stuff, she was like, I'm so done with you. And she was like, I don't want to see you this week. And I was like, perfect. Wait, that's really sad. That's no, so then short, I, babe. so then I, that's changed. your short. That's your ladybird. Yeah. <laughs> and then I oh my changed God. my life. That's your indie. This is really awesome. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Alaskan cruise you know is what an could amazing ha- indie. Yeah. And there could be, maybe there's a pandemic on <gasps> land. Amelia, it's actually a really good idea. Okay, now I'm thinking about, okay, girl, I'm kind of excited. I'm like, yeah, and I can see it now. No, it's, it's like, actually God. really good. It's really good. And it's you can do it quick. You can do it like shiva a baby style. It's a COVID shoot. It's a COVID yeah. shoot, yeah. I have to be in it. Yeah. You're in it. You're, you're a magician. I'll be the dad. Oh my god, I'm the magician that literally <laughs> has a psychotic break and like kills a 14-year-old and like has to throw the body over. Yeah. I think you'd actually Jennifer be really Coolidge. good at that. Yeah, you're yeah. Jennifer Coolidge. All these days. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. Wait, oh my god. It's okay, actually we a did really it. good indie. Wait, but the whenever you said the magician like had a huge moment, everyone in this episode is having this huge moment of like, 
identity crisis. You're the it's best guest we've ever had. more than like anything You're the else. best guest we've ever had. Oh know, my we're, god. We're always like, we're trying to flip it back. We're trying to look like, you did it for us. You did it for Other than that, we're talking She's about orgasming. Yeah. By the way, it's she's orgasming. <laughs> Can I just say this Celsius packet that you gave me? Can I try some? No. <laughs> Honey, yeah, I want to feel I think, I wait, around this. I think you should do until this mark. Until this you one. should do until this mark. Yeah. And then you should do until Can that. Can we okay. after this? I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> I've never had. Oh my ha- God, that's delicious. So you should start getting the packet. Well, because it's usually um bubbly. So it's like for it not to be bubbly, it's like you can really get the aspartame. Bubbly um makes, not the brand. Yeah, please. Thank you. We're going to get demonetized so bad. <laughs> um, bubbly <sighs> in my stomach, like, makes... Bubbly in like, my stomach. Me fart, like... That's, save it for the magician, please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> save it for the film camera. The film camera. Um, yeah, this episode was all about people having big moments. It was definitely, like, setting up the finale. Yeah. What's to yeah. come. Well, I was saying this is... Usually episode nine is so much of the, the setup, and then episode ten is the punch down. Uh-huh. But this is episode eight is the setup, and then episode nine, ten are, like, the, the hitter. Yeah. And, yeah. It's, you know, we're not always seeing that in TV, especially on HBO, and we're getting that today. Yeah. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> yeah. Isn't this so great? This is Barbie movie uh, Celsius. We're celebrating Greta today. Um, well, on shaking. that amazing note, I mean, we need to quickly oh, su- really we need to quickly summarize the plot. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, this is a really fu- you're gonna love this. We okay. call it Minute to Win It. This is season two, episode eight. We're back. Is that the name? I made that it's up. It's back. Yeah, it's, it's back. back. It's back. We're back is funny. <laughs> We're back. I'm like, I think the vibe of it's back is like, it's sort of like, it's back. <gasps> it's yeah. back. It's more, that's how you say it. That's a much better line rating. <laughs> um, okay, minute to win it. Ready? Wait, do you, okay, do you want to go first though? We don't, we don't have to I just don't remember chronologically No, it's, it's almost impossible first. too. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So Amelia, openings, do you want to go first? Okay, and, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to go second? Sure. Okay, okay. That's actually the second's the best spot to be in. Yeah. Because you actually don't have, you're, it's a group project. I have project. a lot of wiggle room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to You're the football player on a group project. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, we open up and Adam is drinking milk out of a mason jar and choking. And it's then piss. just and, Oh, what? That's it's piss. piss? He's like peeing in a jar right is bad. Oh, I thought he was sipping milk. Okay. And then, oh, and it's somebody else's turn. No. Um, and then he goes <laughs> to a it. meeting. He goes to a meeting where he meets Carol King or some girl named Carol who's like, you got to meet my hot daughter. And then Hannah has OCD again. Oh, my God. And then, um, I mean, Adam like makes like a big Speed. discovery like yeah. in there. And then, um, um, and then uh, Hannah's parents come into town. And then Marnie is walking around with Shoshana and Frank and right. Shoshana. Name right. Oh, his name's what? Ray. <laughs> so Shoshana and Frank are sort of walking around in <laughs> bikinis. <laughs> and he looks like Frank to me. Um, and and I think that's my thing. <laughs> oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And then so what's going to happen now? <laughs> um, so Marnie's like finds out that um, Charlie, her ex, is actually and selling an app. No, <laughs> I'm going to go. Charlie's selling an app. And she's getting pissed off. dot com. So Shauna runs into her and my you friend. who's like, "Where the hell have you been all summer?" And she's like, "I'm with my actual boyfriend." And and she's getting pissed off because she thinks people are dead. That people think that she's dead. And then she goes to this party where she actually feels out of place. Hannah then goes to dinner with her parents, where they're like, "You have to go to therapy." And she's like, "No." And then they're just like, "Fine, I'll go to therapy only to shut you up." And then she goes to therapy, and then actually the therapist is actually an author as well, which is pissing her off. dot com. <laughs> um, and then she takes medication and goes or takes a gets a medication and goes home with it. Mm-hmm. That's one minute. And Marnie minute realizes 35. that she wants to be a singer. Oh. <gasps> Which is like, let me start the timer again. Can you just the do that on clock? Can you do that on clock? <laughs> Marnie realizes that she wants to be a singer. And there's Woo! actually a really funny moment there. And someone drank Celsius. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh my God. This, I feel, I feel like uh, I'm You're meditating. Up. No, I, exactly. And then we have a really fun question for you. Okay. Girl, girl what girl, girl are you? you? I, this is so embarrassing, but I am Marnie always. Really? I, I want to be a say, singer. Can we say something? Both our mouths are open right now. We're shocked. <laughs> I never would have pinned you as a Marnie. Never pinned you as a Marnie. This is you're so, type A. I feel no, like... and sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. You're, oh, oh, you're type A. No, I'm is actually not weird? type A. Okay. But I'm like, I get jealous of other people mm. and I want to be a singer. Uh, right. But it's not really. You know what? Can we give you some time for that? 
one minute. <laughs> Here you go. Give us a bar. <laughs> I love that she just goes, I waited for it. <laughs> it's so earnest that it's chilling. It was, and I was like, okay, she's a good singer. Yeah. Ray was like, and you're talented. Yeah. You mean Frank. Just Frank. <laughs> Sorry, Frank. <laughs> Names are really not hard. Not knowing anyone in this. Names are so, no, I Frank barely remember. No, Frank was in the that. last episode we just watched. He was just as like, brother oh gotcha That's and that thinking. actor is dead moment of silence moment of honest. silence oh yeah so Minute if you if you yeah. were listening to the last episode and we were talking on and on about frank um i did google to find a picture of him to make a tiktok and he is dead oh my god at 29 <gasps> that's my age <laughs> 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 I start sobbing. Fuck. <laughs> I just realized I could die. <laughs> oh my god. Um, We're talking I think, to a ghost. But here's the thing. I think I'm Marnie in that like I have this crazy like I have crazy dreams like of and goals like yeah. delusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But personality wise, I think I'm more of a Hannah. Okay. Oh. Okay. I hey. see it. Okay. I, can I say something from my own perspective? No. And yeah, it, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Oh. They're right. But I, I'm even getting some Shoshana too. From me. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You have the energy of a Shoshana. And maybe personality of a Hannah, but energy okay. of a Shoshana. Like you're peppy. You got pep in the step. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's actually true. And you're a little random in an amazing way. Yes, that's true. Yeah. That's so Shoshana. You know, you- <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I say something? Amelia did a hair mask. He's like, did it make my hair shiny? I'm like, no, but now that it's kind of like, it's usually curly, now it's straight. I'm like, it is really shiny. It looks really pretty. Yeah, Thank it you. is really. You did, she did a shiny hair mask, which I, I'm like, that has to be from like South Korea. Where do you get something like that? It's so crazy when you wake up on a Saturday at noon and you're like, I have to dye my hair right now. Yeah. Dye your hair shiny. Right. That yeah. That's the cool thing. People don't realize <laughs> that when you dye your hair, it actually looks really healthy. Yeah. Oh, but it's really? like at the core, it's like not. But it's sort of like a huge metaphor for like when you do something to the outside, the mask. It uh, fixes then the, ins- the inside in the way that it breaks it down. And then, yeah. Oh. And that it's actually slowly killing it. I think that's about half lives, and um, I can't wait to turn twenty nine. It's about me getting a tan. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, we're not supposed to be doing that. We're not supposed to be doing that. Ah, I look really good though. I'm just kidding. That is so funny. <laughs> I am trying so hard this summer to not for, for wait, my wait. face to be let's, so let's pale. Let's frame this as a question, Amelia. What? Girl, what girl are you? And now you frame it like that. Okay, wait. I actually think low key, I'm the Ratika girl. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so because you threw a party i mean they threw a party <laughs> last night at our apartment i was was there too of course in our own apartment but she threw it the way the girl is just like i gotta run to j crew to make it on time it's like yesterday i woke up and i was like i need to sell all my be- belongings at buffalo exchange right now it's like i saw someone i knew on the street and i was like pedal pedal you got a place to be girl and then she's like i'm throwing a party you gotta come it's like i am addicted to being like i'm throwing a party come and everybody's like you don't need to do that and i'm like come to my home I have a roof. Yeah, we threw a party last night for a girl, and then we're throwing a party for another girl. Ne- Which can I just say, this girl that we're throwing it to tonight knows we live here, and she's throwing her birthday party at this bar, like a seven minute walk away. And she posts on her close friend's story, "Hey, oh, so does anybody like have a roof, um, really close to Fiction that I could use and borrow as an after party?" And I'm like, "Girl, just text me. Like, you're obviously trying to like wait. Yeah, like literally, that's so." putting yourself out there but like it's like just text me i'm like a call we know i'm the only one who does like what what game are you playing and then i was like girl yes of course and then she was like are you sure and i'm like why do we have to play pretend yeah why are we playing pretend with language yeah it's it's kind of like um she's trying to like be like so mod and it's like no you can just ask girls are afraid to ask anything that's a really big thing it's like it's we're we're girls who will say yes anything of course we're yes girls and that girl is just a scared girl i think i'm a yes girl too that what girl are you yes girl yes girl girl, they're scared girls (laughs) are you a yes girl or a scared girl Ooh, we could ask that today okay amazing do you have a question for me Girl. Oh my! Wait, I never thought me. you'd ask. Girl, what girl, girl are, are you? you? <laughs> Guys, um, <laughs> I really want to be a Marnie this episode. I don't think I am, but I would love to be. We asked you what girl you were, not which one you wanted to be. <laughs> right, and being were is kind of alt universe. Like I could be anywhere. 
I'm sorry. Can you cut that? <laughs> Ask hey. them the iPad. Can you cut it? Hey, can you cut hey, that? Hey, can you cut that? Siri. Hey, Siri. <laughs> cut that. Wait, she's going to listen. Hey, Google. Wait, yeah. Siri, listen. <laughs> it does it. I was listening to a podcast and someone said the name um, Alexa. And then <laughs> my roommate's Alexa like popped off and started playing a little mix song. And I was like, oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. A little mix? <laughs> <laughs> like the way that my door was closed. <laughs> like... I was like, how did you hear that? Oh, my it's God. It's so scary what Amazon is doing secretly and not telling us Well, why it. did it make the eighth most popular name for your uh, device? It's <laughs> like, know. oh, my God, it's <laughs> happening all the time. I know. They're like, what's the most popular girl name in 2020? <laughs> Alexa? Let's do it. During this episode, I was like, I went to the gym. I, famously, I go to the gym. I got so bored. But I was like doing at the gym trying to do reps, like counting my head during the episode while watching it. <laughs> And the whole time, Hannah's having OCD, so she's counting. So I'm like, you're like, one, two, and then she's doing eight. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. impossible to keep track. Right. Like you really were kind of doing this. Yeah, exactly. I was rubbing my stomach and tapping my head at the same time. Wait, I'm really, I whip that out of nowhere. <laughs> I, when I, if I do this, I start throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> um, whenever she was talking about her OCD, like in the um, therapy session, I was like, I can conceptually understand what OCD is. Mm -hmm. Um. Just because sometimes, like, I think everyone has, like, obsessive thoughts. Like, right. they'll be like, oh, like, um, something really bad is, like, happening, like, to my family member right now. Like, I need to call them. If I don't call them, then, like, it'll continue happening or yeah. something. But, oh. like, I go, that's, like, the most normal thing everyone's ever experienced. Right? Like, we've I never thought it about it like that. Is. But uh, <laughs> should I be more worried about I my family members? Oh, God. We're not normal, so it's like we can't use us as census points, especially Amelia. <laughs> but it did girl. scare me. It made me, it made me like, <laughs> I kind of feel bad for her. You know what I mean? Like, I felt sad that, like, that's what she was experiencing. She has obsessive thoughts, but worse. Yeah. yeah. And, and then I thought about, like, how her mom is, like, mean and, like, hates her for, like, seemingly no reason. Like, her mom is just, like, mean to her. I've never liked her mom. I yeah, think well, her mom is scar. Yeah, you you compared go, you to go. her dad, it's like whoa. Yeah. Oh God. I well, you know. have to remember she's an only child, and I think that puts a lot of pressure, especially from a mom, a mom to her first daughter. I mean, you can speak to this so much, but um, I think there's just so much pressure she puts on her daughter to like, because she only gets one shot at having a child, and like, yeah. there's a lot of expectations put onto Hannah. And, like, you definitely see that throughout the series. Even in the next episode, that's really, really prevalent when – but, like, we'll get there. Uh, Are you an only child? No, I have three older sisters. I'm the youngest. Whoa, that must do something. It's, Ooh. I think it made me really funny, but it also makes me, like, a people pleaser because mm -hmm. I, like – I'm trying to, to like, be friends with everyone. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're trying to be friends with your siblings? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they hate no, me. no, they love me. Sick. They're obsessed. Oh, I've never had that problem. My sister was I'm always older. trying to be my friend, and I'm like, can you relax? <laughs> yeah, it's my brother. I mean, he's only two years deaf, and I have one sib, so it's like, this is easy. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of are, like, all you have. Yeah, and he's culturally, love you, metrosexual. Oh, cool. Um, So he's like- The last one left. Brave. What? Oh, I'm Metro. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fully straight. I'm Metro. <laughs> well, his favorite hobby is making pearl necklaces. I mean, but he's had a girlfriend of a year. I start. I'm gonna start crying. That's really. He funny. actually lives near you. He chose to move to. Oh yeah. Well, you bring him into Chicago. See, and he really wants sure. to get into comedy after I started doing it. Oh, cool. Is he funny? <laughs> Yeah, sure. He actually isn't unfunny. Like he's pretty funny. That, I mean, we need more so actually funny people there. He's yeah, like one yeah, of those yeah. like hot 22. street type of comedy. Okay. And hates women. No, he doesn't. <laughs> but he, like, he does. I'm like, Jack, you can't punch down. He's like, well, I can do what I want. My friends think it's funny. I'm like, well, maybe don't make fun of fat people your first time doing <laughs> yeah, stand up. Yeah, don't like ever. <laughs> sort of, it's like you're gonna be in the Midwest. Like, yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> it's like we don't need to be doing that. <laughs> really good point. No, it's like true, but it's also just like yeah, it's like those jokes aren't like long lasting. Oh my god, who cares? No, no, you're right. <laughs> we have to talk about that. It's just like it won't test. It won't. Um, survive the test of time wait Back the here. ipad oh. just shot us in the face that was <laughs> oh, <God>. ouch <laughs> oh also can i break sorry to keep switching but there's such the first scene in this whole show or second scene there's already a continuity or, uh, error they love doing that this show hannah's walking past prospect park and then she walks past the bodega and then she walks in through a door and then she's in her apartment hannah lives in greenpoint We've seen the outside of Hannah's apartment so many times. Not her walking into it, but like they do like B-roll of it. Right. 
it's someone that it's definitely not her apartment she's walking into and then she walks into her apartment they're addicted to doing continuity or <laughs> Wait, I need you to say that again because it's like Urs. every time you said it, it hasn't been the words, and it's so funny. Wait, say continuity, that continuity. <laughs> continuity. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Wait, yeah. Wait. Yeah. It's I, yeah. Wait, three giving... fumbles got me. I can get continuity. continuity. Wait, that actually makes more sense. Bring continuity because it's bringing in narrative, right? Continuing yeah. a narrative, continuity. continuity. Yeah, exactly. I'm. I, I mean, Lee likes to say English language is made up. It's giving Shakespeare. Yeah. No, here's the thing. It's like people are like, literally doesn't mean that. And I'm like, they actually changed the definition. Yeah. In the, And that's the thing with language. It evolves. Lol means something now. And we have to. Famously, oh. my um, ex web store. Like, said, a, said LOL to me in a text like after the breakup. And I was sort of just like. We're not like LOL level. Mm. Right. Except they changed the definition, of course. Right. And, you and so aware. I'm like, mm, that's actually crazy. <laughs> You're laughing. I'm crying. Like, you should be crying. You shouldn't be lolling. <clears throat> Next time you want to put LOL, put the crying emoji. Put a tear. <laughs> <laughs> put a heart that's Whoa. blue because it's sad. Yeah, exactly. Is or, blue heart sad? I don't know. For me, it's like a university. It's like a, <laughs> you know what I mean? For it's me, like, the blue heart is Penn State. Yeah, it's Penn State. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I never thought about it like that. Okay, wait. It's time to lean into Lena. Girl, let's lean into Lena. We've never done that that way before, but. I think that she, like we said, was setting. This was like set up, but also like a million things happened and it felt like a special episode. But I think what she was doing was like exposing that like everyone was at like an almost rock bottom, huge life changing like moment. Oh, it's so yeah. Like everyone had like a 100%. huge moment. Jess is not even there, and that's Jess still, is not a even huge there and still a huge moment. Yeah, it's huge. exactly. She's like, full, she's she's like, not there. Is she in a different country? Why is she going? Marnie's like, oh my god! Like everyone is progressing past me, and yeah. I thought I was doing everything right. And like, wait that that line where she says that, like she's like these like people that are having like emotional breakdowns are like pursuing their dreams and they're the ones that are successful and I'm I did everything right and I'm like falling behind that's like so relatable that that's is, like the so millennial relatable. experience like truly. it's so like everybody who had a clear idea of what they wanted and went for it and are it's starting to get it making you realize like oh I need to like stop fucking around and like what am I doing especially Marnie because she's like the hostess or whatever yeah and she's like <laughs> Charlie owns an app yeah and that makes her like for some reason be like well, oh, so i'm gonna like come back into his life and it's like yeah you're so toxic girl. Girl. <laughs> well and then raise her with her here. little yeah her loose pigtails i'm like you're a bad girl <laughs> the, the pigtails i was like something is so off with her <laughs> like the front desk girl being like hi where who are you here for and he just walks by <laughs> she, and her loose pigtails <laughs> <jeans> shorts <laughs> <laughs> girl that, in pigtails what are you doing wait what was charlie's app again forbid oh, forbid it was based, based off, off of her money. and i was like she should get some money is That's it a real like, app like do we think it's I, based off a real app i think i remember like in that well also like the app of it all the lip dub of it all the, oh, the lip dub the fashion the fact that like uh like hannah's unable to like monetize her ocd because she because tiktok hasn't been invented yet exactly. <laughs> she make eight tiktoks a day she would be the one of the most famous ocd tiktokers like ever I right wish would, living with ocd i wish she would do it now <laughs> literally like she should like create like a meta like lena it's not too late girl <laughs> <laughs> but like i it's just like such an amazing like snapshot like of that period because i was like exactly. oh my god a cool office Someone creating an app, someone actually investing in an app, like that yeah. you never hear people investing in apps these days. And no. there's too many apps. I'm like, I'm sick. I don't only one that I download is like if it's exclusive invite only to feel special for ten seconds. And then of course Are I want to Are you talking about Belly? Belly. What the fuck is that? Yeah. So Belly's invite only right now, but it's like a food rating app where you get all your friends rate food as well. So you get oh. to see it's like way more personalized. It's like I Yelp, don't care but what my friends just think. your friends. <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Yelp, but like no moms. Honestly, it's kind of fun because moms ruined it. I've always I actually I literally had the same idea for Belly like three years ago. What the hell? I know I had the same idea, but of course I have no follow through. I'm a Marnie here. No, exactly. Um, and then whenever the Marnie of it all too is like 
then you see all these people progressing that you thought were like pieces of shit and then you're like oh my god like i have to just like go for this like thing now and i love when ray's like you have to like do it now like staying now i and mean ray's a teacher not like ray's such a teacher in a situation where it's like do what i say not what i do right where it's like he never really followed his dreams. He's kind of coming to terms with that. Like, that's really one of his big arcs. Yeah, wait, like two show. episodes ago, Shoshana was like, isn't your dream to own your own coffee shop? And he's like, no. Like, he doesn't have a dream. Like, of course he does. Show. Someone that opinionated and passionate, like, has a dream. He's yeah. just, like, way too scared to pursue it. And that's, like, kind so of... So he's going to, like, he's be a, a bitch to Marnie, but mind. also inspirational, like... Wasn't he actually being really nice? No, the bitches yeah. are the most honest among us. Yeah. And that's why we need them. He was H-R-H. kind of being a life coach. Yeah, he. I mean, he only gives good advice, I mean, in that moment. But, like, it's kind of crazy that he's, like, giving that advice and he's, like, getting cheated on, like, at, no, exactly. at the same time. <laughs> Cut to Shoshana going, what is that girl's name? It's not Ratika. I made that it up. It is. It's Ratika. Yeah. It's- she says it literally three times. I was like, stop saying it. Stop saying it. Ratika! She says it three times. I love that scene. Oh, I know. Where that. she runs into Ratika in the park. She's like, my biggest fear is if someone finds out I'm dead and someone thinks I'm dead, it's like, Oh my god, it's so funny because it's so true. Like, <laughs> of course, Shoshana has FOMO, and it's like in such a visceral way. Being a senior in college is all about having FOMO because it's like your last year to really grasp onto the undergrad experience and going to a party and being around. And it's like you're getting nostalgia hit and yeah. you're getting like the miss of opportunity. It's like when you're making a bucket list is your senior year and freshman year where yes. you're like tying it all together. And we're having this, a classic, amazing moment here for Shosh. Yeah. Yeah, when Ray is like... <laughs> she didn't have a college experience like that. So. <laughs> Mine was like... I get when really I, sad. When I was a senior in college, I was like, I literally just don't want to be in school anymore. Like, Where I'm did so you go? Penn State? Penn State, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we were that was, right. It was so tip of blue the tongue. Heart Whenever, is, yeah. I was like, Blue Heart. I was like, I've seen like four trillion I was thinking of Penn State when you when I said Blue Heart, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of Purple Heart, you got a Blue Heart at Penn State. <laughs> <laughs> what is Penn State? Pennsylvania? Penn State is like... It's like Happy a Valley. big state school. It's like in the Big Ten of like oh, sports. Oh, was it like big parties and stuff? Yeah, it's like huge for partying. I, there was like, it was like 44,000 students. Like, yeah, it's Did a you giant study communications? Yeah. Ooh. I, stu- I started with um, drawing and painting and then halfway through I was like, no, I have to like be like marketable like on a resume. Totally. And then I did the other half was like advertising. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Look at you. Wow. So if there's any jobs in NYC. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to move here? Yeah. I like literally coming here, like and driving here, I was like, no, like I have to live in New York. Like No, like you have to. It's you have crazy to. for me to be in Chicago. But right you now. were here for a year and then you were like, I must go. Yeah, because I was like that was a year after um I graduated and I was like working at an ad agency and like doing graphic design stuff. And I was just like, this is so behind the scenes. Like I need to be like front yeah. facing. But I wasn't able to accept that. You're our so. first out of town guest. You weren't ready I'm to be like front facing that. videos are my future. Right. Well, <laughs> oh yeah, plug to TikTok. Amazing it, TikTok. Was it because <laughs> iPhone 4s weren't there yet? I think it was just like mm. my brain wasn't there yet. Like literally I just was like, I want to be some kind of like host whatever do something yeah and i was like advertising is like not the way to get there like i'm gonna like niche myself down into like being like a like a advertising office person and i like don't want to do that right so then i just like it's actually really smart of you to get out to niche yourself down to office advertising person (laughs) i don't want to the way you're you're 24 you're like i can't live like this i can't niche down just yet (laughs) wait i know everyone's advice of all time is like niche yourself down it's like i'm not ready to do that yet i'm gonna build so i can crack huh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> do you wish you had a ray yelling at you to be a singer when you were that age i think that yeah well when did you start comedy in like 2019 i started like making funny stuff like on instagram oh so you're fairly new and then yeah yeah relative yeah, yeah. totally yeah. new yeah i feel as yeah. new my first show that i ever did was in San Francisco, I opened for Meg Stalter in oh my front God, of like really? 500 people. That's yeah. so high stakes. It was extremely high stakes. <laughs> and I was like, if I like this, like I should probably just do it. Right. And then I was like, oh, I actually really loved it a lot. So I was like, <laughs> sure. Let's That's go. amazing. Oh, oh yeah. we're getting you to New York. Right? Like yeah. I like need to be here. It's Wait, like so come mean. Here. Yeah. Do you want to move in? 
Literally. Yeah. yeah. We, we'll do Marnie Our Ray. Our pantry's huge. Yeah, Marnie Ray Shoshana apartment. <laughs> I see one on this table. <laughs> we can fit a bowl in there, maybe. I don't know if we move our nuts. That is so fun. I mean, there's so many really iconic moments, I, especially like talking about their parents and like mental health area when they oh, like are yeah. blaming, like they're like, it's not our fault. We were married. That of was course. huge. It's like so funny for parents not to understand. Well, um, we didn't do it. Health. Yeah. Exactly. I'm like, you literally <laughs> did. Like, that's like how that comes about. No, <laughs> so I love that Hannah is like, well, it's jeans at the end of the day. <laughs> so you're done. <laughs> Like whoa, <laughs> snap back! What were they sing? What singer was that? The old woman, Pat something. No, the I, way I Pat was like, that. "Where are you going?" I'm like, "Let the girl leave." I know. I think this woman was like a Judy, famous folk singer. Yeah, right? Judy Collins. Oh wait, but then they said, oh, but oh, she was going to a right. conference for something else. The mom was going to a conference. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ayn Rand. Oh. um, conference. I yeah. Oh, Annette. It was some some okay. name. <laughs> Judy Collins concert at a bar. Or <laughs> yeah, but they were there for a conference about, and she's like, "I'm meeting yeah. so many women who care about this author." Yeah, but we don't know the author. And that's when Hannah's like, Zoop. and then she like, she's like does like a tick, one, and then the two. mom's like, "Oh fuck you, I hate you." <laughs> the way her mom is so mad, and then they're at the doctor's, and she's like, "Well, I didn't want to do this on my trip either." It's like, okay, well, your daughter is sick. Yeah, like, like uh, newsflash: Hannah's mom is a narcissist. Boom. Period. Mm. She's like embarrassed by Hannah because Hannah, the way that Hannah's life is panning out is like not reflecting good on her. So she like hates her. I think she's Jewish. I always come back to this. (laughs) Well, Hannah just like needs, she like becomes so attached to like people and like needs like validation and like, I mean, we all do, but like for Hannah, it's like so like out front like that's like she wears like everything on her sleeve Mm -hmm. and it's like so obvious like she has this like core like mother wound like she just could never get mother wound that works so well here yeah double double what because mother is like mother it's mother yeah it's like and it's mother yeah it's like her it's her (laughs) like most like primo wound and it's also like from her yeah exactly (laughs) i'm clipping that that's getting four million (laughs) oh my god whoa (laughs) um yeah, no. Total- well, There's so many moms in this episode because Carol, what's that girl's so last good. name? Carol who? Um, Radziwell. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> She's in Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Oh my god, I can never remember. Oh, her I love her. She's also the She's musical such theater a director, talented actress. I know. Wait, whenever musical- she does in um. Uh, teenage drama queen, the Lindsay Lohan movie, mm. Confessions. Oh. She's the director of that play. She's so good at being like kooky Jewish person. Yeah, she's really funny. I'm Jewish, by the way. I hope that comes okay. through for me to keep bringing up Jewish people like that. People <laughs> um, everywhere in Chicago um, instantly are like, you're Jewish, right? And I'm like, that I'm not. Me, but like, I like, look Jewish. Me. Oh, tell, her, tell him the, the thing you were saying about your bat mitzvah. Oh, and I want to have funny. I want to have a bat mitzvah um, to come out as culturally Jewish. That's awesome. Because like I live, <laughs> I live in Hasidic oh, Williamsburg, and all my friends are Jewish. Me, and by that I, I mean, think that's something that they can plan for you. I know, oh, that's yeah. A good idea. You know what I mean? Like, what you would you open like? A chair one day, We're like here you go, girl. <laughs> It's yeah, it's like I, you're, you're right. Yeah. I can't make the choice, and no. me saying that, it's like, huh? But, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think I meant that as like a call to action for them. If they totally, if they, if you want to do that, I am open to converting. That's that's so um, Charlotte of you. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. it's very Charlotte. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's Carol a there's a religion King. moment, Carol. Carol. King. Oh yeah, she's the best. Was she on SNL? She had to be. She was in the pacifier as Helga, so. She's so funny and she's such a chameleon. And she looks really beautiful in this episode. She I like looks so- I was like, oh my God, she's like her hair looks gorgeous, her makeup looks perfect. I don't know. She has a lot of credits this woman. Welcome, Betty. Go I think on. she I think she started on SNL, to be honest. Hannah's O C D. It's like so bad. Oh god. <laughs> well, she's at the restaurant and she taps into that guy. And I she hits him that one part. time and she says happened eight times after. And then like, he's like, you hit me five times. And she's like, actually eight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sometimes like, whenever I would originally watch this episode like years and years ago, I was like, wait, she's almost like <laughs> making fun of OCD like in that moment, like having it be so um, directly like harming someone else. Like, the way it's <laughs> so like... <laughs> I was like, does that actually happen No, with it that? does. I mean, I have oh. a friend like... 
It's when you're stressed. It definitely does. But like if you tap, I tap my friend on one side for body. I always tap the other side. Oh my body. gosh. Okay. Like, it's gotcha. really like these sensory things. Yeah. Especially hers is it's like they like to say in a show. It's very classically presenting version of OCD. But you know what? It's like it's also to talk about anorexia, anorexia in this episode, which is like anorexia is also famously part of OCD, correct? Yeah. So it's like it's very interesting. And when her- Hannah's dad is like, she doesn't have anorexia. I've seen her in a swimsuit. And oh. mom's like, she was joking, dick. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, whoa. That was crazy. so gay. It's I like, know. In this episode, he's like, my barefoot days. Yeah, barefoot with men running around the damn field. I barefoot can't believe he's... Guy on your toe. I can't believe he's still straight. <laughs> I know. He isn't. Well, course. he isn't. But <laughs> right, but at this moment. He's it's still like, presenting. He's straight. Yeah, that's... Cr- the like, mom doesn't even care about the musician. He's so excited. <laughs> the mom... <laughs> haircut pisses me off sorry <laughs> yeah i don't like her haircut i think she's an amazing actress truly. i think she's really good at acting but i don't like what her character's acting like mm-hmm. right. and that that means she's good and that i Ooh. guess that, that's a famous test to be to be 29 and realize okay i don't like this character but that's because the actor's good yeah something that happens when you're 29 right it's amazing play if you can play the villain well and then walk away <laughs> laughing it's like you did better than anyone else yes I always say that. Being 29 is going to be so cool. Mm -hmm. It's all going to come together. Oh, God. Sadly, I won't make it there. (laughs) Do you want to be part of the 27 club? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I hope I blow up on TikTok and then... (laughs) <laughs> and then literally so the ocd doctor let's talk about oh, the doctor oh my god and i think it's so funny for her to like have this such a confession in there and it's like well okay i didn't know ocd was so classic when you have to masturbate eight to 16 times a day and then you have to go touch the door handle to yours eight times and then you have to go touch your dad's or and then the toothbrush oh yeah your parents door and then your toothbrush and then you keep moving them so you don't know and then it's 3 a.m and then you go to school looking like a zombie it's like oh <sighs> Whoa. Yeah, that is a crazy morning routine. I'm, I think Hannah probably, I think Lena actually, I mean, does have OCD. OCD. She must, yeah. Do you guys know anyone with OCD? Yes. yes. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, that's it. And, and no follow-up questions. <laughs> In high school, my theater teacher was addicted to being like, you have OCD, crackhead. Oh my God. <laughs> he was there always was such like, a moment crackhead that. Amy, OCD. Oh, oh you're going to organize oh. something? And it's like, actually just like- If a girl's things, clean like, for one second- she has OCD. Right. It's, it's like, like I'm a people pleaser and it's dirty in here, so I'm going to clean it. Right, and it's also like that totally makes sense. But like there are so many people that do have OCD that like their outer world is so like messy. No, exactly. You know what I mean? It's so never true. has barely anything to do with organization. <laughs> no. It's like just because you have a filing cabinet with your files in the right order doesn't mean you're like mentally ill. Yeah. It's like, like, literally about I, having like no control actually. I color like, coordinate my classes. Like I don't – Exactly. I just like things to be cute – Meanwhile, I, it made me think OCD was something about, like, being colorful. Like, like people think they have OCD is Marnie. Like, it, people are like, yeah. when people yeah. think of OCD, they're thinking of Marnie. And in reality, it's what Hannah's doing. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, and I was like, oh, like, is this, is this popping up more because, like, she's like, it's because of the book. It's because of, like, all the pressure. Yeah, exactly. Of the book. And then, like, the doctor <laughs> says, like... <laughs> Yeah, I sold randomly 2.5 mil copies of my book about a stupid, dumb dog. And she was like, <laughs> how, how she didn't strangle him in that moment, I don't know. I She's so brave. Well, I think, it's, yeah, well, the other time she's had OCD is high school. Right. When it's like, high school is so, that senior year of high school, it's so stressful. I mean, yeah. she must have felt. ACT, college applications, like it is so much. Deciding like, what your life is going yeah, to be. Exactly. Yeah. Why? They make it so hard to be 17. No, it's impossible. That's why every movie's about it. And you're, and you're supposed to like deal with breakup for the first time. Like breakups and like um, heartbreak. Right. right. That was the word I was looking for. At that time. It's like, it's like culturally acceptable to experience it that Ex- at the exactly. time, I'm like, oh, we want our teenagers to be like actively like jumping off bridges. And so stuff. bad. That's such a hard year. The way oh. I, the way that yeah. the SAT stressed me huh. out so much, I moved to Canada. <laughs> like, huh? I was it's, like, I can't do the ACT. <laughs> I'm going to a new country. It's like, okay, relax. No, literally, I saw a shooting star in Bushwick last week, and the only thing I could think of was like wishing for a 36 on an ACT. I was like, you saw one shooting star in all of your time <laughs> in New York, and you're like, 36 on ACT. 
That's so sick. It's so ingrained you in wish my brain. You for 36 on the ACT <laughs> I think I got a 25 on the, on the OCD. <laughs> on the okay. ACT. You scored bad. 25. I wish you had that shooting star. Oh, Is God. 25 bad? Kind of, right? Probably. I was like so mediocre about grades my Didn't brother my brother got a 35 and was in the school paper and i was like well fuck yeah that's impossible to live up to but it's like also like he had nothing to do with me so it was fine my sister famously and you can cut this if you want famously um, um all, cut this. almost failed out of high school her senior year and then did better than all of her friends on the sat <laughs> oh my god okay so she, she's really smart but doesn't care yeah she went to oh yale my god. Literally didn't go to college. She just was like, yeah. Does she own a business now? <laughs> She's so Jess no. from Gilmore Girls. She's like an engineer basically, but like went to like got associate's degree and like just like did certain jobs that wow. like allowed her to become. No, like, she's so insanely smart, oh. but doesn't care at all. Yeah. I love her. That's I the best way to be. Her. That's the best way to be. Oh, I'm keeping that in. Yeah. You have to keep that yeah. in. She's science. Jeez. Oh, you have a woman in STEM daughter, daughter, sister. <laughs> in a way, your sister is your daughter. Your older sister is your daughter. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what I have to say about Amelia. Like, um, some people have only child syndrome. Amelia's only mother syndrome, where she had to mother all her siblings. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. A single mom who works four <laughs> jobs. Okay. So, Shauna going to the party. So, first of all, Ray, when he's like, I can't. How do you not understand I can't go to a college party? And I'm like, well, if you can't go to a college party, you can't go to Shoshana's life. Can't date a college girl. Yeah. I'm like, where's the, the cognitive dissonance? There's always one 32-year-old at a college party. Right. It's right? normal. You're, you'll meet the other one. It's like, you guys can talk. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, wait. What happens at the party again? Nothing exciting. Like, someone asses into a mermaid, and that's kind of the whole center point. And Shoshana doesn't actually know how to talk to people her age anymore because she's been talking to Ray for so long. It's been on Boyfriend Island. So now that she's kind of taking a carnival cruise back to the mainland, she's like, oh, I have no idea what the hell's going on with a regular NYU senior. And the yeah. security guard. God, and that guy was very hot. And then he said a The slur. transphobic, yeah. yeah. Well, this he show did? is not meant for queer people. First of all, it's crazy to, like, cheat on your significant other. But, like, the fact that she, like, does it because she's just, like, yeah, like, he's, like, not right for me and, like, it doesn't matter anymore. Like, I'm just going to, like, cheat and, like. It's so unlike her. I know. She was overcome. But it's also just, like, I'm young and, like, let me be young and, like, do these things. Like, this isn't fair, like, what I'm, like, what I've, like, it's put so, myself in. And she lives it's, with him. It's so Hannah coded. Yeah. To She's be, like, to I actually should be experiencing my life and I need to make stuff happen. Yeah. And I'm proud of her. I think she should. It's like Ray just reading a book on Shoshana's bed in Shoshana's apartment with the keep calm carry on sign. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you. Get a home. I know. Get a home. Get a home. Well, yeah. And when we find out he's homeless and it's like Denny's. Oh, it's very interesting because she goes through this episode in the beginning being like, well, yeah, it's so nice that Ray and Marnie live in. And I love it when Marnie's there, except when she's just talking about herself, which is all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Like, okay, get hey, your so you own Yeah. And she's like, no, it's like, I, I am a mother right now. And it's like, I'm actually raising children. And it's like, and I know from the rest of my life, I'll be raising children. Even my own Irene, who has no other friends. Oh, yeah. Like, I have to raise her ass, too. It's like, yeah, she's constantly thinking of. It's not Irene. What is it? Eileen. Eileen. Yeah. There I just go. said that because it sounds right. I Whenever she it. said that, I was like, yeah, you are going to be that person. Like, you are going to be taking care of your aunt. Because, like, no one else is going to. Oh, exactly. I love it. See, the way her this aunt is affected. We did do a whole episode on oh, her. We have to fi- figure out who her aunt is. <laughs> I mean, they never bring her in. But we have to figure out who it is her, and bring her, her on the show. Her aunt inspired so much of Shoshana's life. Shoshana's understanding of the world is based off her aunt entire. It's like, yeah. where's your mother? She, like, watched Sex in the City with her aunt. I'm yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Her aunt like did her New York minute and like it really profoundly affected her while they were living on Long Island and she yes. never shut up about it. And she thought it was like living four blocks away and like would go over after school and eat popcorn with Aww. her aunt who like maybe is like a recent divorcee. Yes. And she has money and time. So she would give Shoshana all her life lessons, which are just like one summer in New York as she did an internship. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like, never trust it. men. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> she's like, well, I already learned that from the gals in Sex and the City, so who cares? I do want to talk about Adam, though. Yeah, so. Thank you. Tell us, I, tell us about Adam. Well, I like, I understand sort of like that perspective of him being like, she just was like always around. And I think that I've been the Hannah in that 
scenario before where it's like I've given myself so much to someone that Mm -hmm. they like are like oh no like I do love this person but it's just because I've like uh offered myself up so many times to them when I shouldn't have like she just shouldn't be around him like at all no they're not meant for each other but he now is kind of a a victim of her manipulation which is like think you've done the fuck like I'm yeah like I think everyone is a little bit guilty of like if you're in the wrong relationship for too long, like, yeah, you kind of have manipulated that person into like well, liking you. Yeah, no, it's what it is. It's when you spend time with someone, they more they always like you more. The more time you spend with someone, you get more like you can see yourself more with someone when you spend more time with them because you already have exactly. Yeah. It's like relationships based around um, and there's a proximity, like a, a, yeah, attraction difference. Like, so if you're friends with someone first. And the person's more attractive than you, then it doesn't really matter as much. Like you can still get that relationship into the same level of satisfaction, except when you start off a relationship with someone, even if there is like an attraction level difference, um, it, there's less. That, wait, I made that point so weird. But the way it is, it's like if you have friendship with someone and you spend time with them, it's so much easier to actually like to, be with that person yeah. because it's you're used to it. Yes. Yeah. That's and that's what he's realizing, but he's <laughs> but he doesn't understand like what love is. So this is like the closest thing he's had to love. Well, you know, it's right. addiction, and it's like yeah, it's he's like, like he's like I'm realizing I was addicted to Hannah uh-huh. in the same way that I was addicted to alcohol. Yeah, I think that's a big episode for him. Like it's a big moment. Yeah, it's for huge. Him. It's really huge. And then he goes out on a date. He's with- solo plot. It's like the first time I really see him like solo plot. Yeah. Whenever he puts his like head like through the like the ladder, ladder thing as if it were a guillotine, I was like, whoa, that's literally me on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> like being on a phone. <laughs> My head is in the guillotine. <laughs> we need one person to be girl, what girl are you, Adam? We're dying for that. Oh my God. <laughs> we need to bring I'd love to meet an Adam IRL. We'd love to meet an Adam IRL. No, because everyone that watches the show is gay or girl. In short. And sure, sure, that is so true. I'm it's only five cool. eleven, but that's short. No, that's that's not so, average or tall. It's not so really? short. It's and not I'm tall, sure you're taller now because you have better posture as you get older. You're sometimes. right. Well, have you gotten better posture? I've actually you? gotten worse, and my neck is starting to hurt. Really? Because I'm 29. Oh God! <laughs> Can yeah. you please give a tally mark of how many times you said you're 29? Yeah, I'll do a ding sound effect oh, every time. That. That'll be so fun for the listeners. <laughs> Little coins. <laughs> yeah. Well, ping, it's ping, like ping. Amelia and I did an article. Like someone interviewed us for an article recently, and it's the two months where I'm 24 and she's 25. <laughs> so it's like the whole article is like Evan 24 and Amelia 25. It's, it's like, like we're in Vice, which is bankrupt. There'll never be another Vice <laughs> article. Oh, I love so Vice. For the rest of time, it's like our Vice article. It's like I'm gonna be older than Evan, and I have to live with that for eternity. Oh, wait, that sucks to be the girl that's older than the guy in like any scenario. It's hell- the, so the girl that they get set up with, perfect. She was in the show that I watched in tenth grade that I'll never forget called Life Unexpected, where she, her foster daughter is a problematic girl. Wait, and this young. woman played a mother? Yeah, but she was like a young mom. This is a potential mother. <laughs> But it's crazy because she plays a young mother, but in the way that Lorelai Gilmore does, where it's like, oh. you're 27. Oh, uh, right. But Wait, she's this woman seems daughter. like she is like at oldest 28 in this. I know. So I'm like, you saw a show where she's younger. And it was years before. Whoa. I like that she's a, p- a private investigator's assistant. Like a, like, like a magician's assistant. Really, yeah, yeah, she's a magician's a lot assistant. Of this, a lot of girls being assistants in this show. I don't know. Well, it's funny. Um, People love to be that job. Girl, curly hair girls. Private Pretty, investor yeah. or private investigator is cool. I know. I, I think so, like, but I think it's a lot more like mundane than we realize. It's probably a lot of sitting yeah. in a car. Well, did you ever watch um Search Party? Yes, I love Search and, Party. You no, know, the whole time it's like, oh, nothing's happened. Oh, like he's planning all these clues, and it's in reality, he's like, nothing ever happens in this no. job. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like deeply. It's a lot of walking around and being like, mm, I guess, or just like googling. Yeah, you like sit googling. for ten hours. Yeah, it's just LinkedIn searching. They all have hemorrhoids because right. they're sitting for so long. Yeah, you love uh, hemorrhoids. I'm so hemorrhoids are so. You're I basically have a hemorrhoid, hemorrhoid in my brain at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it goes well, all the way up. Someone recently talked to me. They asked me about a he- about my hemorrhoids, and they were like, "Are they internal, or external?" And I was like, "Do I look like someone that would have an?" external hemorrhoid <laughs> no no they're internal they're I was, internal like, waiting for the answer i was like 
No, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Right. And, no. <laughs> you thought about it, you go, yeah, he's internal. He has three internal. Three, three internal. It's kind of learning you can have the difference. I didn't know there was Audi and any. Oh, yeah. Is Whoa. it is it from eating disorders? Probably. <laughs> That's I what? think caffeine. You can have it's one getting, many different it's ways. It's from getting fucked in the ass, too. Ouchie. Also. So that's inner. Yeah. <laughs> that's inner, not, yeah. not outer. It's an inner problem that I need to work on. <laughs> well, Y'all, thank God you're Go to single. the doctor who sells books. He seems really good <laughs> at stuff. I love him. Girl, get, get your, your Glock. Glock. It's, it's rapid, rapid fire, fire time. time. Are you a school girl or are you get schooled girl? School girl. What's your favorite utensil? Spoon. Why is Marnie mad at you? Because I... <laughs> Made I did a portrait of her dog and I made it look wrong. Would you rather live in a nice building facing an old ugly building or an ugly building uh, facing a nice building? An ugly building facing a nice building. Wow. Ooh. Um. What street does Central Park start on? Uh, Columbus Circle. <laughs> pretty good. What would you sit on the couch and talk to Ratika about? My breakup. <laughs> yeah. Where is Jessa now? Jessa is literally in Saint Tropez. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you did so good at that. That was so good. <laughs> I can't believe you don't have four to five years of improv experience. I know. At this point, it feels like I do. Yeah. Improv doesn't have to be on stage. No. Oh my god. Literally learned improv from Meg Stalter online. Online. We're going to actually feature this episode with Meg Stalter. We're going to tag. Course. We're going to tag the girl. AI put her over my face. <laughs> her gonna entire tag. body over my face. <laughs> We're gonna tag that girl in every that in every so clip. Funny. Good, she'll love that. Tag her ass. Yeah. Was, okay, we have one last question. Then verse now. First one we're gonna talk about. We kind of brought it up already. I think is app. It's app. like the culture of an app. As someone who has forty five different apps on their iPhone twelve, it's like I actually have way more than forty five. I actually am gonna come out saying I have two hundred apps on my phone. <laughs> Do you have Fruit That's Ninja? Disgusting. Do you guys have Fruit Ninja on your phone still? Well, no, let's find I out. I don't honestly, I might. I have Grinder on my phone. That's like the biggest thing. That's a big Are you um grinding game, this honestly. weekend? I set a goal for myself that I want to get Eiffel Tower this weekend. Oh my god! Yeah, lofty. I know. I think I can do it. But you honestly, could do it. I just have to like either <laughs> drop my standards or like that's so funny. Go to a space. You where came yeah. to New York and you're like, oh, it's perfect. Do you have like what a- was I going to do this weekend? Podcast Eiffel Tower. <laughs> 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 you know, there's actually two people like, here that can could we, do it. Can we record early? I kind of have a lot of. Um, I actually have an Eiffel Tower plan. Yeah, Eiffel Tower too. So it's a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I think that could totally happen this weekend. I think so too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like. Is yeah. this your? You already had a night last night. I had a night last night. Went to the Eagle with Pat, and um, it was just like. The vibe was like off, so we're like, yeah, let's just like leave. It's always I've yeah. never been, but I know how scary it can yeah. be. That's from rumor weird. mill. I don't leave Brooklyn if I can control it. No, God, why would you? No. No, Are you never. staying in Brooklyn or Manhattan? Well, I was staying up in um like near like Harlem. Um, oh my no, God, we stay... made you come here. I'm no, so sorry. No, but I was planning to come down here to stay with my friend Stephen. Uh, I have some other ones. Should I bring what them else? up? I just keep talking. I'm sorry. No. You're like on a keep- podcast. No, no. I just want to just want to correct. You you think you're talking too much on a podcast. <laughs> really interesting. We, I need space for myself. We actually need to pause everything. What made you say that? <laughs> I just feel like I'm talking too much. You're allowed. Hey. I feel like I, I keep going off on tangents because I need no, to hear fine. myself saying something funny. We want to hear you say something funny. No, we, we have this to is have a, that. Listen, this is for TikTok, of course. This is not actually, we don't care who <laughs> listen. We, and and most importantly, we don't want our podcast to be about girls. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> we're always trapped in it because we did name it HBO Girls Rewatch, but we're totally. trying to move away from that. I feel less in, actually I'm really liking girls, you say. Wait, I wanted to ask you guys. I and- didn't fall in love. Hawks. No, sorry, you go. Go you on go, a tangent, go, go, please. Go, go, go. I go, please shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I wanted to ask you like, because I'm like starting a podcast. I've recorded like five episodes oh and I'm like excited about it, but it's like about nothing. But I wanted to ask you like, when are you going to like pivot to something else? Because I, I love watching your, <laughs> this podcast, but so it's like, funny. there is like a, um, oh, you mean an end because it's like, there's only so much content about yeah. girls. So this it's like, what everyone asks us for. Well, I think because I my, see so many other. two different theories. Oh, sorry. Have you, I, my thing is that, we either we have to see where Lena Dunn's projects are at the time of release because now with the writer strike there was some room there was like other stuff but now we'll see if there's 
projects going on so then we can talk about that yeah or uh we go full like the concept is like it's still girls related and it's a talk show about like people that would be in girls like oh girl. cool Where we're like, like interviewing all our friends in brooklyn and like they're girls I think wait that's i our love that plan. yeah i was literally wait, curious because it's like well it's literally called are you solo special interests yeah i'm just doing it solo because i'm like no you I'm, should like, do so solo. hard to wrangle yeah, yeah. that i'm like just like do it yourself okay wait then versus now we need to finish it out okay yeah, yeah. and then we actually can do whatever the hell we want yeah, yeah um mirror mantras hannah going to the mirror into the restaurant and doing a mantra i'm doing that shit all the time we thought that was like she's kind of because you know i don't think in 2012 mirror mantras were as big as they were today but my dad growing up all he said was to look in the mirror and um like do a speech like that so you can see yourself but i would like to say this i watched a trailer for the master class for helen mirror and she says, never look in a mirror when you're acting because then you're just going to copy that and you want to be your authentic self. So when you do a speech, you can do a mirror. But when you're acting, you look at yourself in your in You don't lady. look at yourself wow. in you, Yeah, well, you, don't. you don't look at yourself, but you're looking at yourself here. Right. Oh. You're, here. you're looking at your this. And you're, for you're all the listeners, yeah, yeah, yeah. Evan's pointing to their face. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Wait, is this a vlog? It's a vo- it's a vodcast video podcast. Yeah, I saw that on on Spotify. <laughs> I was like, wait, you rock! Or it's vodcast. actually so scary. Where do you run it through? Like, what do you through Spotify, Spotify for podcasters? <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, I'll do that. Too. You should do that because they pay you. Okay, yeah, I love getting guys. paid. Holy, we're not. They paid. sent this to us, <laughs> and by that I mean we stole it off the street. Wall. Off the street. <laughs> um, wait, what was the affirmations while talking? Acting. You're right. It didn't. That was like not a thing until like truly two years ago. Like yeah, affirmations. TikTok. And yeah. Hannah. One time I <laughs> was FaceTiming Meg Stalter and we were both staring every, into the every mirror. Every sentence I wrote was Meg Stalter 29. Meg Stalter, we love you, girl. I actually love, if I go back in my Twitter to 2020, it's just me being like, I love you so much. You're so cool. Literally. Yes, literally. Like, literally. I addicted to her. I mean, we are all, we are still all am. still actively, still actively in an addiction her. of her. But, she, but we were like, <laughs> we called it mirror work. And we would just like stare at the mirror. I think we saw like a TikTok about it, about someone like stare, you stare at yourself so long that you see your past lives um, because your face starts to distort if you stare at it too long. Oh. And um, so we were doing that, but we were getting so scared that we like couldn't <laughs> like do it long enough. And I, oh, I and like then had to cut out because it was too intense. She like couldn't do it. And like, I was like, you know what? I actually just have to do it. And so I was staring and staring and my face changed in the mirror and I became, and I looked like I was a little, um, like a paper boy from like the 1800s in like Italy. You say oh that, and it's God. like we will leave. If you were six foot, you would never have been that. But because you never got past five eleven, you were a paper boy. You were a paper boy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was like, I was, like, oh was it good? Was it Newsies style? Like- it was Newsies. Yeah, I was Whoa. like, okay, I'm not wearing a hat right now, but he is. Wait, so did you stare at a mirror for how many minutes? Would you? Say? It was like at least uh two to five minutes it's a long time to stare at the mirror i'm gonna do this literally changes i know i'm like i have to go to the bathroom (laughs) (laughs) um wait i need to do that really quick um i'm gonna lib dub i can't get over when they bring that up but it's so funny i'm like like, making me laugh humor screw in my head what was it gangnam style or what was the song do the stinky leg what they didn't really play it oh it was oh Oh, was it? That's so. I didn't even catch Teach that. Me how to Teach, Teach me how to Teach me how to duggy. Duggy. That's what it was. Oh my god. That's so office culture. When I was an intern at an unscripted reality production company, TikTok had just started, and every Friday you worked at Quibi. We literally <laughs> all we the entire time I was an intern, Rooney. we would just sit in a meeting and be like, "So, do we think Quibi's gonna work out?" <laughs> Everyone's doing jazz. You have camp. meetings, multiple meetings a day. It's like a daily check-in. Quibi, what is going on? Yeah, <laughs> we're like, "So, Quibi." I love that. Quibi, too long. Yeah. They're too long. <laughs> they're they're literally too long. I'm like, TikTok should be more than 32 TikToks seconds. Like <laughs> Quibi's That's too a long. really good point. Yeah, yeah, they should have done short. They didn't short, know what they were doing. Content. Literally should have been three minutes. 150 each. characters. Yeah, but, um, they should have done honestly tax based. 150 characters our yeah. office yeah. our office would always be like we're learning a tiktok dance and we're filming it and it's just like me on a staircase in a sundress being like a billion views yeah i was about to say hits it's like 300 hits <laughs> <laughs> it's like i don't think this is working also yeah this was the era of hits this was the era of apps this was literally people would invest in apps yeah for once I don't think people are investing in apps now at no. all. Mm, belly. Belly. <laughs> I feel like 
apps are dead. It's individual. Except for, of now. course, gay dating apps, which are somehow having eight new ones Sniffies. today. Field. No, there's so many. What's Motto. Sniffies? It's like so many. Archer. It's like on the last week, you made this many gay dating apps. <laughs> I don't. I don't even have one. I'm like, I got Tinder. <laughs> Tinder's so, so classic. Sick. And I think the other then verse now I think is really interesting. And Ray is actually a fortune teller because he says pantomiming your emotions is an, is an emotional crutch. And with the advent of TikTok, we're like, we're so this. We're not this. You know, we're not using our hands. We're doing face. Yeah. And like that's how we have to convey emotion in 2023. It's like through voice and face. And like Literally. he was onto something. Like Ray said something. He was a future teller. Like that should have been his. He passion. was a future teller. Oh, I will say though, like not to like completely denigrate that point, but like TikTok has also like introduced new like uh, language. Yeah, of course. Literally. And, like, you know what I mean? Behavior. And, like, yeah. I'm, like, it's almost like in 2012, all we have. If was- anything, it's like only doing this stuff. And not oh, speaking. And you're totally right. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, not yeah. doing this and having a word to say. It's so like we're, sort of we're being all like, crutching. Yeah. All it's crutching. only that. It's like it's actually it's actually really cool because it's the first time so many people have so much access to video. Based yeah, exactly. Stuff. That's it's what like it the is. idea of FaceTime. Like it's like you can just see a person's face so much more, so you don't have to say as much. You're so right. Because even there's a cap cut template where they do that song. What it is. Oh, oh. And I do that literally <laughs> with just hand emotions over a photo. <laughs> like, okay, you're you're literally crutching right now. Let's just call it that. It's so sick. Um, yeah. But what you <laughs> what you said earlier with like Hannah would be monetizing her OCD totally now. If this show was made now. She would be the most successful writer like in the world. Can I say something? Literally. I think she is monetizing her OCD. Lena is. Oh, in the Lena show. is. Um, well, question: Would illness. she be Substack or would she be TikTok? Oh God, I, she would be Substack. I think she would be Substack, but then I also have to wonder, like, if she was twenty three now, she wouldn't be writing. She would be. She talking. might be embarrassed of TikTok. Actually, like, she might be like so, like, oh my God, that's like so the cringe. Are the worst. Is I it, think that's how she I'm is. Sorry, yeah. you hate the future. You don't want to have fun for a day. Just because you're not good at something doesn't mean it's bad. It's because you literally can't think of fun ideas. Like, sorry. No, exactly. That's okay. Not everyone has to be an artist. Not everyone has to be a stand-up comedian. Yeah. No, well, it's even stand-up comedians who are like, they think they're too good for TikTok. It's like, you're not too good. This is what we only have now. You don't know how to make a front-facing video. Just say that. Just say that. I feel like I, like, jumped onto TikTok and I was like, I already know how to do this. Like, good. Yeah. I'm, like, here. You're a TikToker. <laughs> I was born, I was a worn, or died in the wool TikToker. You were paper boy and then, like, you were, yeah, like, paper boy. you were kind of falling through the universe. What's next? What's next? What's next? Boom. <laughs> TikToker. Tell her she's TikToker. Form. Okay, I'm 13. I'm going to say something a little bit random to Trapped the screen. Trapped in a 29 year old's birth. Uh, we should body. all be TikTok. I need to start TikToking more. We should be TikToking more. Totally. We should make some Okay, one I'm going to do a week. coin thing for every time you bring up 29 and then another separate <laughs> coin thing for every time we say TikTok. Oh, and Meg Salter. And Meg Salter. And Meg, well, oh my God, I'm going to have fun with sound effects well, in the editing can room. Can it be like a platinum coin, a gold coin, and yeah. a silver coin? Yeah. That's full yeah. circle. I'm sure to make different sounds, <laughs> I assume. <laughs> wait, this is going to be so fun no, for the listeners. This is an amazing episode. <gasps> I know. Oh my God, Any I'm closing glad. statements? This episode is like fully a really important episode. I'm so like happy that I was involved in it. This it's an important so episode fun. for all of their character arcs, I think. I think it is. I think we're going to remember this one. Get ready for Victor's podcast, um, which is going to be a headgum original. Um, we hope, we'll we hope figure, fingers yeah. crossed. And please rate and review. Everything helps unless it's a four. Then um, delete the link. <laughs> <laughs> huh. um, we'll be back next week with the second to last episode before the season two finale. So get ready for that. And um, we love, love you. you. Bye. Bye.